There are plenty of tools for testing accessibility, and a lot of them are online, they're free, they're easy to use. Here are a few of my favorites. So over at this crazy URL, jxnblk.com slash colorable slash demo slash text, you actually get a really cool uh, way of playing with colors. So we can change these to be anything. We could change it to be something like white, just like this. And maybe this one is uh, black, just like this. And that way we get that full 21 points that, that were promised. We could flip it around to black text on white. It would still work. And we can just start playing around with these. So if we change the lightness, you can see that it's completely responsive, so a fail uh, fails quite well, unfortunately. Uh, it does flip around sometimes, so you, you do need to be careful about going all the way white or all the way black, because you're going to see some of these sliders move. But if you have two colors, you can drop them in here and test them very easy. If you have a lot of colors, you can use something like the eight shapes uh, contrast grid where you just add all of your colors uh, in fact you can even add a name to that color after a comma so we have charcoal and black and effective on extremes okay they give you that and then they build out this grid table for you where you can see uh, does not pass or uh, AA18 that's double A plus double A triple A so you can see very quickly where your colors are. And in fact, you can go further by dragging these around for comparison, and it'll even update that list for you so you can get right to work and see how things are, are shaping up. Um, as always, there's the original granddaddy tool of them all, the uh, WebAIM color contraster. So you can go in here and, and copy in your colors, and it will give you that ratio. We can change this really fast, and now it's 21, which is black on white. Something in here, you'll start to see it change. It doesn't really, oh, it does. It, it changes to green when it's a, when it's a pass, so uh, there you go. And then, of course, if you're using stuff like Sketch, there are a bunch of different plugins that will um, let you do this, so you can select a bunch of colors uh, trigger the plugin and it will demonstrate or, or set up some sort of a display where you get your uh, color changes. Lots of tools out there. These are just some of my favorites. Uh, color contrast, you should be doing it. Please be doing it. Accessibility is not really something you should be doing as an afterthought.